AITA for knocking on a neighbor's door and expecting an answer? A few days ago, I realized recently that I didn't get a package I was expecting. I checked the tracking information and saw that it had been delivered a week ago to the person with my apartment number in the other building in my apartment complex. So I went over to the other building at around 6 p.m., ensured I was at the right place using the photo taken by the delivery person, and knocked on the door. No answer. That's fine. I figured they must be out, so I decided to come back the next day. The next day, there's still no answer. Then on the third day, I can hear the television inside the apartment. Aha. Uh -huh. So I knock on the door and... Nothing. No response. I wait a few minutes, then knock on the door again. I figure maybe they were in the middle of something, or not appropriately dressed to answer the door. Still no answer. I wait a few minutes and knock again. This goes on for maybe 10 minutes or so. Admittedly, at this point I was already peeved from being completely ignored, and also having had to spend several days on this. So about the fourth or fifth time knocking on the door, I suddenly hear a woman screaming at me from inside, if you touch my F. King door again, I'm calling emergency service. I try to explain that I had a package delivered to her apartment, to which she screamed, I never got your F. King package, now leave, or I'm calling the police. I told her I had a photo of the package delivered to her door. She paused, then went back to screaming that I was scaring her, and that she was calling the police. I told her fine, go ahead, tell them a neighbor is knocking on her door looking for a package and see what emergency service has to say about that. I left and went to the office and explained the situation. The office emailed her, along with my photo of the package, at which point she said she did get the package, but had her boyfriend place it in the mailroom right outside their elevator. This is not where packages go. As it's unsecured, there's a package room maybe 50 feet away he could have delivered it to instead, or dropped it off with the office about 75 feet away. Unsurprisingly, my package was gone by this point, having either been stolen or discarded. So my question is, am I the asshole for knocking and expecting an answer? I wouldn't necessarily expect her to open the door, but to at least say hello and ask me why I was knocking? I thought about leaving a note, but I have some wrist pain that makes writing difficult, and I don't own a printer. I try to be respectful of the fact that women can feel threatened by men. If I'm walking late at night, I'll make a point of not following behind a woman, of veering around a woman walking the other way to give her as much space as possible, etc. I do see how a man knocking on her door could be intimidating, even though I'm not intimidating as men go. Should I have given up after the first or second knock? Did I do something wrong by expecting a reply when I can hear someone watching TV? Comment, honestly, I think you're not the ah uh. for knocking on your neighbor's door and expecting an answer. You had a valid reason to retrieve your package, and you were persistent but not aggressive. It's understandable that you were frustrated after a few days of trying to resolve the issue. While it's important to consider how your actions might be perceived, especially by someone who may feel vulnerable, you were respectful and clear in your intentions. The neighbor's reaction was quite extreme, and it would have been more reasonable for them to simply acknowledge you and explain the situation. Leaving a note might have been a less confrontational approach, but given your wrist pain, it's understandable why you didn't. Overall, it seems like you did your best to handle the situation appropriately.